The Structured Query Language When IBM created the Structured English Query Language in the 1970s, it really changed the game. Now since then, they've dropped the English. It's now just the Structured Query Language, or SQL for short. We call it SQL, and because we had this programming language where we could have the computer use complex logic to write, update, store, delete, and then extract data out very rapidly, our ability to gather and collect data and store that data over long periods of time has really transformed. You've heard the phrase, we're going to collect more data in the next two years than we did in the last hundred or, or something like that, right? That's because the structured query language really flipped that whole world upside down and gave us the ability to do that. Now we do have a bridge course dedicated to just databases and things like SQL, but SQL is such a major part of BI, I had to throw in a quick nugget on it. If you work to a small to medium sized business, the likelihood that you are going to be doing BI development using SQL is extremely high. And if you work to a large enterprise and they grant you permissions to connect to their SQL databases, you're lucky, first of all, and second of all, you're absolutely going to hop on that opportunity to develop awesome dashboards. So as a brief introduction to SQL, what I wanted to tell you is this. This is one of the most easy programming languages to learn. You see, you can get as simple as could possibly be by just pulling data out or as complex as you want, building in all sorts of custom logic and how it handles things. But at the highest level, SQL does this for us. It gives us the ability to do what's called CRUD operations. You see, the C is for create. We can create data. We can create databases and tables to store it. R is for read. This is extracting data out. We can read and build the queries that we want to pull data out so that we can ultimately visualize and analyze our data. Update is for the U. That way we can update our data when it changes and things need to be changed. And lastly, D is for deleting data. SQL gives us the ability to handle CRUD operations with extreme ease. That way we can gather data at massive rates, analyze data at massive rates. And ultimately because SQL made things so incredibly simple for application developers, it also makes things incredibly simple for report and BI developers as well. Now I know you're thinking at this point, hold up, do I have to learn SQL? Is it absolutely mandatory for me to get started in business intelligence? Well, here's the thing. Remember that very first number we talked about different types of, of business intelligence where it's split down the middle between engineers and developers? If you want to go into the engineering field where you're building out data warehouses, yes, you absolutely have to know all of the ins and outs to SQL because that can be a pretty complicated task. But if you're trying to get started in Tableau or Power BI, no, you don't need to know SQL up front. I didn't. I started out in Tableau and I worked with Tableau for years before I learned SQL. And then once I did, that enabled me to grow into SQL and learn, oh my gosh, this makes things so much easier. I was then able to automate a lot of my, my dashboarding and reporting operations. So my advice to you is this, if you are thinking about getting started in the engineering side of things, you're going to want to get started by learning the SQL programming language inside and out. But if you're thinking about getting into the analytics of visualizing and analyzing data, feel free to dive right into Tableau and Power BI because you're going to learn the VizQL language or DAX and that's going to really ease you into learning SQL, which you're going to have to do eventually if you get started in a career in BI. But don't fret not knowing it up front because knowing the Tableau and Power BI tool is really where you got to start if you're trying to get into that career path. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.